Hi guys, welcome back. I am Red Z, and today we are continuing our campaign in Divide and Conquer as Darwinian. Yes, the veil of Darwinian is rising, isn't it, my friends? We are doing very well. We're doing very well, doing quite nicely. Uh, you know, Rune hasn't put up that much of a fight, honestly. Um, so, yeah, I, I've, I've really been enjoying it. It's been so fun. Um, and yeah, quite plain sailing so far, but we shall see whether Rune has any, you know, last reserves of strength in its pocket somewhere. Um, first things first, I am going to move Avalyn out this way. Try and build a watchtower. Just so we can see down this way, just in case anyone's coming, that sort of thing. Um, and we are going after Rubar. This is quite a strong army, though. And I'm thinking, do we get another Rovanian rider on here? It's only 690. You know, our infantry is pretty damaged as well. I did want to save a bit of cash. I think we get another cavalry there. Just in case they decide to sally out. Um, he's got a renowned mercenary, plus one command, plus five percent loot. Edwardin's just going to keep on sieging down uh, Winterian Yar. I don't think that's much of a problem. We'll just siege them out. They are rebels after all. There's no rush. Uh, and I want to, you know, maintain Edwardin's force as well as possible, really. Seeing as we can't retrain those guys. Uh, I don't believe anyway. I don't think there's any way we can retrain them. Over here, we want to save a bit of money so that we can retrain these elven boys next turn. That'd be nice. And then Viltor, although we've taken it back, it's a little bit unhappy. So I'm hoping yes. we can do something about that. The one privateer axeman. What a boy. <laughs> Surviving in this army. What a legend. Oh, we've got our spies moving. I forgot about those. I think, yeah, I think we are cut up. Once we've taken Winterian Yard, there's nowhere we can go north. So, you know, we've we've cleaned up that corner. I'm um, we're not going to get attacked by the elves, as by the uh, dwarves, or by Dale anytime soon. So, in terms of the plan, though, guys, I think taking out Rune is our obviously main priority right now. Let's take them out, um, and then you know from there we'll we'll grab together all the eastern scraps and see whether we can go into the back of Mordor, whilst you know taking on Dolgador as well. I do want to take those those river settlements. Along the Kelduin, because that'll just make us richer and richer with more trade. So that'll be really important to try and grab those eventually. But hoping that Dale <laughs> doesn't, you know, take them uh, anytime soon. And Dolgador seems to be doing quite well. Um, oh, Kirith Ungol. Let's have a look, see what's been happening at uh, in Moror. Rioting in Viltor once again. Can start stands with the Astari. Fantastic. <laughs> News spreads across Middle-earth of the Khan's decision. When faced with choosing between Mordor and the Astari, the Khan chose to stand with the Astari. In a bold attempt at rebellion against the Dark Tower, the free peoples rejoice at the gain of a new ally, while servants of the enemy vow to reclaim the lands of Khan for the Dark Tower and slay the Khan and his entire family in the Dark Lord's name. Rumours fly now that Mordor and its allies will soon move to reclaim the lands of Khand, and the Khan's days may be numbered. For now, he is surrounded by enemies. Worst of all, some tales speak of an Inquisitor uh, sent by Khan to execute the Blue Wizard. So, that's good in some ways. It's bad in others. Let's have a look at what's happening over here. Oh my god! Gondor! What? Gondor! Are you joking me? Hurin's still alive. <laughs> and he's got gold experience. And Turin over here as well. Sorry, uh, Turlin. Just normal bodyguard. How is this happening? How is Mordor not beating Gondor? Maybe it's a version 5 thing, but that is quite crazy. <laughs> wow. Wow, 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 wow. Okay. So, Kand is now allies with Gondor and Dol Amroth. It doesn't mean they will ally us, but what that does mean that's kind of scary is Mordor might come down and take, go come through our lands and take this Kandish land down here. And they get a stack, an Inquisitor stack, which is a very, very powerful stack, I've got to say, uh, of troops. Um, so, yeah, that's kind of a bit scary. But first things first, let's retrain. We'll retrain the Thorn Riders as well. And then ideally we want to retrain those boys. That'll be fantastic. 
Where did we recruit that vineyard bowman? In Carverad. Ah, yes, to send down south. So, uh, let's get them moving. How is Viltor looking? Still 65%. I wonder if I could afford to build something. I don't think 494 is going to be enough. Next turn, we're going to have to look at whether we can, uh, you know, build something there. Just to bring it up to 70. If not, we'll have to send Captain... Uh, Orduklax! <laughs> Captain Orduklax into there. What a name. <laughs> what a man and what a name. Uh, you can see there's this army here. There's also this army. It's a little bit scary. I'm hoping we can knock them back. No, they want to, they want to fight. No, let's not have a night battle. It makes them better. I don't know why the balance of power is so close. I know their bodyguard is, you know, extremely strong. That effective against armor stat is just fantastic. But, yeah, let's let's go for it. Let's, uh, let's fight them on the battlefield, and I will see you there, guys. Here we are. How glorious is this music, guys? If you are interested in this music, by the way, you can check it out in the description down below. Um... Obviously, the the uh, the music made by someone for this mod, so uh, and for other mods. So yeah, go check it out. It's uh, really cool. I thought as defenders they would come and defend on top of the hill, but we're gonna get going. We're going. We want to move fast because they have you know two crossbow units, um, and like our infantry should shred the crossbows. But on the way there, they're armor-piercing crossbow units, so they're gonna do really well. And then of course that general is just a beast, just a beast of a man. That general's bodyguard unit is so good. But I'm glad they haven't managed to combine. Because if they combined, you know, we'd be... We'd be a little bit... We wouldn't be screwed, but we wouldn't be in a... You know, a great situation. Let's put it that way. Who are they firing at? They're firing at the privateer axemen. That's not ideal. That's not who we want them to fire at. <laughs> you know, ideally. So let's get the cell swords. See whether the cell swords can go into the bodyguard. That's who I would ideally want to get into them. And you guys can try and flank as well. And then we'll probably send fourth win with the cell swords around this flank. And the uh, the old cavalry around here as well. Let's go, boys. I do love the battles in this mod. Like, I love the pace of them. They're, they're quite slow and tactical. Rather than, you know, in, in Rome Total War, battles are very, very fast. Uh, they still have a lot of impact, though. Um, and they are great. I do love it. You know, especially with the mods RIS and stuff. The battles are fantastic. But, you know, I do like the slowness of this as well. Come on, fourth win and the cell swords. We can't leave those Baroon Hunters just there. That's going to be... Oh, God. Go away, bro. I hate them. Why are they running away? <laughs> now comes the general. So let's get our cell swords into the general. And we'll try and get fourth wind to try and deal with these Baroon Hunters. I love the sound of the Harad horn there. Victory will be ours. You get in there, fourth wind, my friend. I don't want fourth wind to go against their general because of his armor piercing. will just be ridiculously strong. Oof. Now that was a charge, boys. That was a charge. Let's come back. Now fourth wind should be able to engage quite nicely. We've pretty much destroyed the Daratai crossbowman. It's just the Lokrim bodyguard. So let's get across here. Get ready to charge these uh, Baroon hunters. Let's get fourth win. Okay, looks like they're trying to run. Fools, don't run. If you run, you get charged while you're running away. Which is never good for you, my friend. That tree's a bit in the way, though, isn't it? Well, that's what you get for trying to run, fools. Yes. I mean, no matter the situation here, you're going to die. Need those guys in there. Uh, I need the cell swords and the privateer axemen ideally fighting these boys. Where are they going? Like, I don't understand. Where are you going? Like, where do you think you're going? Okay, they've like fully just spread out now. So let's speed it up a bit. We don't need to take this really slow, do we? I think, yeah, that bodyguard is just dying. They're just dying. And that is another Lokkan 
We have a uh, destroyed once again. Get the charge in there, boys. And it looks like my computer's actually working today and not dying. There we are. Fantastic. Another Khan dead. How many have we killed? Oh, 99%. That's fine then. We did lose a few men, you know. Noticeably, the, the Privateer Axeman died quite a bit in there. In terms of cavalry, we did well. Fourth win had a few losses, but... Who did well? The Thorn Guard again. What a unit this has turned out to be. When you look at their stats, guys, they look trash. And then literally, when they're in a battle with that spear wall um, formation, they are supremely good. What a fantastic unit. I am so proud of my glorious Thorn Guard. But anyway, we'll see you back on the campaign map, boys. Here we are. And of course, we're going to execute the two Baroon Hunters. Rune's leader is dead once again. Imagine if they just, like, regicided now. I doubt it would happen, but, you know, it could. I am slightly worried if we attack in here without proper troops. You know, we're going to be in a bit of, a, bit of trouble. Uh, but it's fine. We've got to wait another turn, haven't we, for to build in Viltor. No way can keep coming down. Now we do have this boy in Mataram. So let's see whether we can leave Mataram now. It's red still, but is it on low? Mataram, please. 85%. That is fantastic. So let's go attacking this guy. What has he got? Hmm, not great. I think Al uh, Avalyn could take him by himself. Honestly. I wonder... I wish you could take them out of the army to do that, that attack there. Lest is still under siege. It's eight turns, though. And, you know, it's not really going to be a worry, is it? Ooh, we narrowly missed missed that one. <laughs> there's, a lot to, uh, there's a lot to remember now. And then these boys, now that Mistran's probably happy... Let's have a look. Yeah, low tax rate. Let's... Uh, Crank that up a little bit, because it is a minus city, if it's possible to. We should probably go around all our tax rates and have a look. We'll do that when when Lest is not under siege anymore. And we're going to send these guys down this way, because they can, you know, man the cities. Uh, garrison the cities. Now that's the new Lokkan. Uh, and who's in here? Just some Thorn Guard. I mean, you know, we're not going to win that one, are we? But... Attacking Austin Eri should hopefully force him to turn back, which will be great. Um, yeah, how are we looking elsewhere? Retraining up there, fantastic. How much money are we going to have next turn? Not quite enough to retrain everywhere, I don't think. But it'll be fine. It'll be nice to get Wintirian Yar and build a port there as well. And Rhubar, because they've already got a port in there. You can see... Quite a lot of money being made in a lot of these places. Lest would obviously be making more if it wasn't for being sieged down. Karasant now making 2,500. And it's still growing with the population, which is great. Um, how's Ilanin looking? That's fine. Making the number of the beast up there. <laughs> but let's press the end turn. I think that's everything apart from spies and diplomats. Oh, we don't need you to move there anymore. We'll probably send you down to Khan to have a check out what's happening and, and make sure we watch and see that Inquisitor army on the way. Because <laughs> that is quite a scary army. If you've ever played Khan before, guys, that is a scary army. And especially when that happens. It's a very, very powerful um, army. Right. It looks very much like we're, we're a bit outnumbered. <laughs> Luckily, they only have three, you know, crossbowmen and one of them is their general. I mean, we're not in a, a fantastic situation here, really, are we? But if we can take out that general, I think we can, you know, go for a... You know, go for a glory charge against the general, kill him, and then hopefully the rest of them will rout. And all we need to do is make them rout, don't we? They will be selling out to us. So I will see you on the campaign map, guys. Here they are. And they're sallying out. Um, right. Get rid of the ram. And we're going to actually run backwards. We're going to get away from the city. 
get up on this hill if we can. Fourth win as well. We have no missile troops. The reason why I'm doing this, guys, is because, you know, if they uh, if they want to come and attack us, I don't want to be able to be, be, uh, to be fired at from right outside the city. Because in order to charge his general then... Um, and his crossbowman with my cavalry. I'll have to come into range of his arrow towers, which will do me damage, which I don't want to happen. So what I'm thinking we do is actually get slightly behind this hill. Because, you know, crossbows find it very hard to fire in a big arc. So if we get there, with fourth win just behind, I think we'll be in a quite a good situation. Cavalry can come. Uh, maybe not up the hill there. We might get the cavalry all the way over here. Quite out of the way so they're not getting fired at. And now we just need to wait. Wait for them to come to us. One problem with this is they are going to get the charge down the hill. But, oh well. I need to find their general. Which one is their general unit? That's that's it there, isn't it? Is it? Or is that just a standard captain? It was one of their crossbowmen. It's one with three captains. They're warriors. These guys are the crossbowmen we're after. So it might be this one. But then again, there was two of those crossbow units. That's not one of them. They're going after my cavalry for some reason. Ah, there he is. There he is. So, we know which one it is now, which is great. So, as soon as they get in position to fire, we need to get forward. Yep, that's it. Like we did last time. And just engage them in melee. Get our cavalry out of the way as well. Fourth wind can come round. You guys need to get up there. You guys can get there. You guys can go there. And you guys can fight the Daratai warriors. You guys get in your uh, spear wall formation. God, Privateer Axemen, why are they so slow? It's quite annoying. Uh, now we know where their, uh, their general is. Let's uh, get around this way. I'm hoping our cavalry doesn't get attacked you know, by the crossbowmen. There we are. Finally get in the fight, bro. And it's the Baroon Hunters, which it's this one. Unfortunately, we're on the wrong side to kill him. But let's go for a charge anyway. The Thorn Guard should do pretty nicely. I'm, I'm torn between helping our men. This is the General's one. So even if we just rout these guys, that would be superb. So if we come back over here, get set up for another charge, and go for a massive charge on those boys, that'll be superb. If we can get round and, you know, start fighting some of these Daratai crossbowmen as well. Right, now we go for a big, big charge on this Baroon Hunters. If we can make them rout, or they change formation, that'll be fantastic. That is not the greatest of charges. Although, oh, no, it was actually quite good. Look at that unit just sh getting shredded. Like I say, if we break these guys, that'll be awesome. That's another really, really good bonus. Because then we can kill the general. And then we've just got free reign. Some of these units don't have the greatest morale. So, let's get set up again. And let's go straight in there. One final charge. Where is the general? He's there. So, he needs to take a bit of a hit here. And he's gone right to the front. What a boy. Come on, hit him. Yes. Good. Someone's charged into him there. And he's he's just a standard captain. He's not even a, a proper general. Guys, get in there. Just kill the rest of these boys, including the general. I don't care how many losses you take doing that. Cell swords are doing well. These boys are actually holding out quite nicely. Privateer Axemen are doing really well against the Daratai Warriors. Fourth wind's struggling. Where is he? He's only got three men left. Come on, boys. Kill him. Kill him. Not him, but the actual general, which is in there somewhere. I don't know where. Can't see him. <laughs> Kill him. Come on. <laughs> where actually is he? I think they're all crowding him. 
Guys, come on. How have you not killed him yet? This is embarrassing, boys. Surely he's routing. Have we? We haven't killed him. Where is he then? He's disappeared. He's genuinely disappeared. Unless this... Oh, it must be this unit. Oh, no. <laughs> that is embarrassing. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. It is this unit with the gold guy. The gold guy is the general. <laughs> what a stupid, stupid thing to do. Well, what I think we'll do is... Uh, We'll get the Rovanian Riders out this way. We'll get the Thorn Riders and the Privateer Cavalry around the other side. Uh, and yeah, we'll come around this side. We're going to try and strike them from both sides. Okay, all those guys are now routing, which is great. So you can go and deal with them. We just need them all to route, remember? And then we will have taken the city. Now we go for a charge from both sides. The problem is these guys are all going to be in the way. <laughs> now we just need to need him to rout. That's a good charge on him. There we are. In the charge, he died. Fantastic. This should... I believe this should give us the city if we win. But, you know, I might just make sure we kill... Try and kill 85% here. That's it, then broken. Mm, no, I think we'll, we'll accept it and just go... Because I think what they'll do is they'll attack with that other army. Oh, yeah. They've still got those spearmen over that side. So, if you if you just go and charge them down and, and kill some of those, just to make sure. We'll bring fourth one around here. And we'll get our Rovanian riders. They were a very valuable purchase then. Really valuable. They did so much damage. And the rest of you can just line up. And let's see if we can get, you know, a glorious charge off here. We'll get them really spread out so they get the best charge possible. Get them ready, all set up. Now, let's go. Let's see. Let's watch the boys do some damage. Here they come. Here they come. Come on, boys. Get a good charge, please. Okay. How good was it? It wasn't amazing, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> but the Rovanian Riders are not, like... An unreal unit either. They're just a fine unit. So I think one more charge. And we will be fine. We've used leadership. It wasn't the greatest charge ever was it? I'm not going to lie. Each time is not great. <laughs> Come on boys. There we are. Oh look at that. We absolutely crushed them. We destroyed them. 253 for the Thorn Guard. I just can't believe that Thorn Guard. That is an unbelievable unit. It's got three attack and it's done 253 kills. Are you kidding me? <laughs> the Spear Guard, Fourth Winds Guard, 124. Bladesman, 62, which is good for the amount of troops they had. Thorn Riders, 53. Privateer Cavalry, 136. Cell Swords did 150 and they only started with like 50 men. The Axeman, 243, and Ravanian Riders, 122 as well. Some great stats. So I'll see you back on the campaign map, guys. Here we are. And again, let's sack. Get rid of a bit of the population so they'll be a little bit happier. Mordor wants trade rights and map information. The mouth of Sauron is all the way in the east. What a boy. Yes. We will accept for now anyway. <laughs> They've given us map information now as well, so we should know where each of their settlements is on the map, which is definitely helpful when we go into the back of Mordor. Uh, but yeah, we'll definitely trade with them for now, because that'll just give um, Matarams just some extra money, some extra cash. You know, dealing with the enemy, we're going to steal a little bit of cash off them. <laughs> I'm sure, you know, our elven brothers and sisters will be very happy with it, but you know... <laughs> What can you do? Oh my god, look at the amount of money we just made. We have reached everywhere. I will accept that in Mataram now. We have a load of cash. Uh, go talk to the Goblins of Moria. We will do that. And you're going to give us something for it, aren't you? Let's uh, trade with the Goblins as well. Map information for like a thousand gold, please. That, that sounds reasonable. Nope. Oh well. 
But what have they given us? Vineyard Bowman. Oh my god. Why? Why? <laughs> I thought you'd give us an elven unit or something, bro. <laughs> Not a Vineyard Bowman. Terrible, terrible, terrible scenes over here. Fourth winner is now a great commander. That's always been true. What a boy. Uh, yeah, you're just going to go and join Avelyn. Right then, let's have a look. We've taken Rubar now. They do have this army here. Which is not the greatest of armies. Now let's have a look at Rubar itself. Because we don't need half of this stuff in here. Dirt Paths is fine. Blacksmith is fine. Grain Exchange is fine. I think Brothel's fine as well. Trading Post is also fine. Master Mason's all... Oh, God. There we are. We found the stuff that is not for us. Port and a Warlord's Halls as well. Pretty nice region, honestly. Um, but first of all, let's get the Standing Stones in there. Why did we make so much money? We're just making... I wonder whether our trade has just gone up loads. Yeah, 6,800 from trade now. Wow. Let's check. Mataram's still only making that amount of money. Nowhere seems to have had a huge increase. Santan Wee actually looks maybe like it's had a bit of an increase. But let's have a look at Mataram. If we go to the settlement details and go the trade summary. Yeah. Mistrand, Elgair, Daz, Gurum, and Oli, uh, Oi Bamari. So I'm guessing, where's Oibamari? So we must be trading with two, you know, Mordor settlements over here. Which is fine. Not a problem. Right then, let's decide what we want to do with our money. I think first things first is we'll retrain those boys and we'll recruit uh, a uh, Avari Nahahim. Uh, I can't even speak. Avari Naharim. There we are. I say uh -huh, Naharim <laughs> every now and then. We'll get an Avari Spearman as well. Is there a chance we can build... We can build the Sword Singers Academy. We can also... Can we build the Royal Hall? Okay, let's actually... Not build that yet. So that we can build the Royal Hall. And then we can build the... Uh, next to Vari Barracks. It would have been more efficient to build the Mason's Halls first, but, you know. Oh, well. It's fine. <laughs> Viltor's back to being happy now. Great. That means you can keep on coming down. You're going to assault Austin Eri. Actually, we can assault it straight away. We'll do that in a second, then. You're coming down to Norway. Good. They've left Burra Marikis and Lest. So, we've got Avelyn over here. Killing Captain Harun. I think... You know, I think we'll auto-resolve that, and I don't think it will take a lot of losses. Good. You know, don't want to, you know, avoid battles, but there's no point fighting these tiny ones. This this battle, however, is definitely worth fighting. They've got some uh, Privateer Axemen, some Clansmen, some Dragon Guard, which are a decent unit as well. So, yeah, it's definitely worth fighting this one. So let's get into it. Let's uh, have a bit of a gander, shall we? So I'll see you on the battle map, guys. Here we are. Let's uh, get our deployment in there. I'm, I'm a bit worried about where they will be. I'm hoping on this open field rather than in the trees. It's just so hard to see in the trees. So with that in mind, we're going to start in the middle here. We'll use our Athala Rangers and you. And we'll use also Avelyn as well to do as much damage as possible. Before we uh, close down with the infantry. So, first of all, yes, okay. Good, they went up here. That's that's good for us. So, let's get our crossbowmen and stuff up there. And let's get Avalyn down here to start firing into them. And just use all his ammo. They've only got four units, so they won't be too much of a worry. But it's fine. Okay, they're coming forward now. So, Avalyn, just stay here. And just fire at whoever you want. Doesn't really matter. Ideally, the Privateer Axeman would be a better option. But you guys should stop. Because you should be able to fire now. And then the Crossbowmen can come here. And then our infantry. 
Let's get you uh, getting there as fast as possible now. I think we're a little bit behind, aren't we? Crossbowman, halt. And you should be able to fire. We've already lost 7% from Avalyn. So keep, keep doing it, bro. You're doing a good job. I want you to fire at the Privateer Axeman, though. Ideally, you two as well. You actually halt. You can fire at who you want. Fire at the Dragon Guard. You guys fire at the Axeman from the side. Should do a little bit more damage. And now we just wait. Now we just, uh, as long as they don't go anywhere, we just whittle them down. I know it's a bit boring, but you know it's the best option. We might as well use all the ammo that we have before charging them. The axemen are the main, you know, main worry really. The crossbowmen are just trash, aren't they? It's not good at firing. Firing there. Why are they firing up and over like that? Get in front, and so you don't do that because it's it's dumb. Are these guys firing in a straight line? Yes, they are. Good. It's better. Better. That's what we like to see. There we are. Speed it up. Come on. Now they should be firing in a straight line. They just take so long to fire, don't they? They're just such slugs. <laughs> this is why crossbowmen are just not the best. The Privateer Axemen are down very, very far now. And the Dragon Guard are dying so quickly. It's glorious. Where are you? You might as well come up here while we're waiting. Avalyn is, you know, out of ammo. So we're getting back over there. Right then, I think it's time. Are they going to withdraw? You guys all get off there. They've absolutely been shredded, haven't they? <laughs> Very nice for us. Let's get all our infantry forward. Come on, boys. Let's go. Speed it up again. They've not got much left. Uh, and you guys can get your spear walls done now. And then we'll bring the cavalry around the back. And we'll bring Avalyn around the back as well. To charge these Dauratai clansmen because they're trash. Oh, the Balkov clansmen are already running. We might as well charge them down. You guys get there. Run. If we continue like this, we will smash the enemy. You guys charge them down. Yeah, because we've got to make sure we kill everyone, haven't we? Let's get there. Come on, Avlin. Let's go. Charge! What do you have? You've got leadership, haven't you? Cool. Oh, that's such a good charge. Into the back of the Dragon Guard. You guys go there. You guys go here. They've not even lost their general yet, and they're already just crying. Crying into their own hands about fighting us. Fantastic. Poor Rune. They have just been shredded by us this whole series, haven't they? <laughs> Poor guys. Poor guys. I feel almost bad for them. Almost, not quite. You know? Almost bad for them. How many have we killed? 82. We need to uh, kill 3% more. So, just speed it up. And hopefully we'll be there in a second. Get after him. Come on. There we are. Killed the general anyway. That should be enough. Yep. Absolutely shredded everyone. Uh, Avalyn. I don't think we need to worry about them. So let's exit the battle. Clear victory. Very nice. 40. We only lost 40. Wow. Look at the Avari Naharim. Unreal. Thorn Crossbowman did really well as well. And the Rangers didn't do quite as well as the Crossbowman. But they were probably firing at a, a little bit more armored unit. Or a, a bit more defensible unit. Um, and the Crossbowman are armor piercing. So the crossbowmen are good, but yeah, they just fire so slowly. So I'll see you on the campaign map, guys. Here we are, and of course we're going to execute again. I'm sorry, Rune. <laughs> I know it's horrible, but yeah, we've got to do it. Emma Hearth is hardly defended, and these guys are both family members, so we're not getting up to the uh, Lokkan just yet. Um, 
Yeah, they've left Lest alone now, which is great. Elgar's up here. I think we're just waiting Rhubar for a turn. See what this army does. I don't, you know, I don't think we'd be able to leave there now anyway. Um, but yeah, that, that money that has just suddenly influxed into us, that is fantastic. That is very nice. Um, oh yeah, we can uh, assault Austinari as well. And I think, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll auto-resolve that one as well. There was no need to do that. There was like one man in there. Let's sack it. Let's make sure we repair that and let's build some standing stones straight away. So, oh, we're looking good, aren't we? Enmarth will be taken soon. And once we've taken Enmarth, you know, I think we'll chill for a little bit. And we'll try and get some nice elven troops into this army. Going against Mordor. Because the elven troops will just shred those Mordor armies. And try and get a nice full stack before we go into Mordor. We've got to go and take uh, Dars Gurum over here first. So, it would be nice to go and take that. Uh, but yeah, let's end the turn. Let's see what happens. It's just a bit of a problem in terms of retraining and training troops. You know, we need those Avari barracks, which are really hard to get. And we need a lot of uh, a lot of standing stones, a lot of culture. And we've, we've expanded so quickly that we've expanded really far away from our recruitment hubs. Um, and we only have one elven recruitment hub, which, you know, needs to change. So going forward, that's going to be a big priority. Um, getting those elven recruitment hubs up and running as quick as possible. Like, Mornithel would be a great one, of course. Uh, because it is an elven city. It's a large city as well. So it, we can build pretty much whatever we want in there. Ah! Welcome to the party, rebels. Welcome to the party. Nice to see you. So... Privateer Cavalry, Privateer Axemen, Rovanian Spearmen and Hunters, and that's it. I don't think our army's going to have any problem dealing with these boys. <laughs> Edwarden is a beast of a general unit. We've got our Swordmasters, we've got our Knights, we've got our Axe Guard, and we've got our Spear Guard. I, I can't see a problem. I think those Javis are a bit, you know, a bit scary. They'll do a bit of damage, but apart from that, we'll be good. So I'll see you there, guys. Oh, hardly even needed to wait. Hardly even needed to wait. Let's get rid of all those. Let's get you boys out here. In there. And we've got our Vitna Court Paladins. What a unit. Watch us, uh, <laughs> watch us lose these boys in one, uh, in one fell swoop. What I'm going to do is I'm going to get my Swordmaster guys out in front of the boys. Because they are the worst unit. Uh, that we have that we can actually retrain. So I'd rather they were out in front, you know, taking all the javelins. Um, oh, how long is your range? Your range is actually terrible. Let's get you forward. Far enough to start firing at some people. Your range is so bad. Look how far away they are. They're going to get shredded now. Fire into their privateer cavalry quickly. Well, at least it's uh, drawn in the Privateer Cavalry, and my Vitna Court Paladins can have a, di have a do with them. And now let's get out. That was, you know, I was worried about that, but I didn't expect it to happen so quickly. <laughs> let's get you back. Mm, no. Oh, that, was, that was a big mistake. But anyway, they're crossbowmen anyway. Out of all the units, they were probably the, the one I least really cared about keeping apart from the uh the sword masters now they're there though we definitely can have a little little cheeky go at the the privateer cavalry guys why are you so slow hurry up <laughs> you're so slugs literal slugs that should really shred them that cavalry unit is insanely good now let's get out don't want to stay in there for too long and I don't want to get jabbies thrown at me. So, let's get out. You guys can come back now. It's fine. Your sacrifice has been uh, noted. <laughs> now the sword masters. And let's get the spear guard around the side. And we'll get the axemen around this side as well. Get running, boys. Get running. Look at this big blob that they have created. 
I don't care about that Privateer Cavalry. It's not big enough anymore to do a huge amount of damage. So, what well, you guys can start firing at them. Spear Guard can come over here. Deal with them. And we'll get our Knights in behind. You guys get in there. They're going to charge the uh, Crossbowmen once again. <laughs> but they're going to come up against my uh, Vitna Court Knights. Which are a beastly, beastly unit. These guys should do some serious damage in here as well. Spear guard, fight them. That's the Privateer Axemen, so that's actually their good unit. So what we should do is probably charge them. So come on, boys. Edwardin doesn't have a special ability. He just has Rally, which is a bit meh. Would be nice to see him get a special ability. But he already is a, a cavalry general. So <laughs> he's already strong enough. He doesn't need to be any stronger. Oh my god, that was brutal. Imagine it. I'm just imagining an army with uh, Avelyn and uh, and <laughs> and Edward in. That would be insane. Watch these charges. They're just so brutal. Look at that. Oh, they were on 170 before. That is ridiculous. Are they routing already? Yeah. Just kill them. We want our spear guard to get into the Rovanian spearmen. Now let's get a nice little uh, set across here. They didn't actually use any of their javies, which is surprising. Uh, you guys can not stop firing now. You're going to kill more of our men than, than theirs. Let's go after this Rovanian spearman to stop these guys chasing us. Because uh, why are they chasing us? Come on. <laughs> Stop chasing us, you fools. You'll just die. Oh, this is such a good replenishable general. We just need to make sure Edwardin doesn't die. Because Imagine killing him in this first... Oh my god, look how far they charge into the enemy. Look at that! They've nearly halved that unit in one go. That is obscene. That is crazy good. So let's get charging into the enemy. Speed it up a bit. We don't need to uh, no, be slow. We just need to make sure they all route, remember? That's all we need to do. Now you can charge. And hopefully we can do it before they get... Oh, the town center's only there for the Privateer Axemen. So they might come back. But we'll just have to... Oh, that's them all routed. Fantastic! We did lose a few men. Mainly the Bogard, of course, from that bit of a mistake. And the Swordmasters, which, as I say, I'm not bothered about. 270 kills, though. Fair play. Paladins, 228. The Axe Guard, 140. Very nice. And everyone else. Nice. Fantastic. I'll see you back on the campaign map, guys. Here we are. And it's not a great settlement, but we'll we'll sack it anyway. Um, and ideally, I want to get some, you know, watchtowers up around these regions so we can see everywhere. Norway the Conqueror. What a name. I didn't realize he'd been called Norway the Conqueror, but Harfast. Yes, we'll 100% accept you. The savage whirlwind that was the Eastling's war machine has been halted, blunted, and driven back. Crimson sheets cover their fallen, much as cairns mark those who've died in the struggle to bring such a force to ground. Hunters call high notes of birdsong as pockets of resistance are slowly hunted down. Behind the startling savagery of the advance, the survivors plant their feet wide, pole arms and axes hefted, ready to hold what they have left to hold ancestral lands that have never fallen to enemies beyond the Sea of Rune. But will the tenacity of the deserts and steppes be able to stem the vengeful counter, likely to follow the breaking of the spiral winds that begin to cease their softening whine? What a nice way of putting it. Well, when I say nice, not nice, but yeah. <laughs> what a very eloquent way of putting it, should I say. Send Emissary to the remnants of Hangmar. Why would I do that? And plus, I can't get through there. So, I'm sorry. No. <laughs> right, let's go down and talk to, like, Lothlorien and stuff. Actual people we want to talk to. Lest we got the Standing Stones eventually. So, we should start getting Northmen now. Mistran too, but Mataram is going to be a big one. What I want to do, potentially... Let's get that Mason's Hall in there first. Then I want to make this into a recruitment hub. So, yeah, we need blacksmiths, we need barracks, uh, and we need tombs and meeting halls. So, yeah, maybe going for the full um, Mason's Hall route first might be good. But then over here, instead of the Mason's Hall route, we'll go straight 
for the halls that we need. And then we'll move on to the barracks at Mistrand. So we've retrained some of the elves, which is great. Um, and we can get more of our spearmen. Let's get some Dorwinian infantry, I think. This is the place where we want to recruit. And then we'll recruit a few. And then we'll look at building elsewhere. So. Uh, Austin area is building like we've seen. But we did get half fast, So I'm thinking leaving just half fast in there. How bad is it? It's fine. It's absolutely fine. And we're going to go straight for this village over here. We'll build all our watchtower, you know, watchtowers along the way. So we can see a bit more of our own land. Because <laughs> we really can't see it much at the minute. Um, it'd be nice to have someone in there that can build some watchtowers. And these elven troops. We could send them against Dolgador, but... I don't know. I don't think it'd be that useful. This vineyard bowman as well. You need to come all the way down to here. And we're going to go straight for Emmerhath. Only a wooden wall. Which is nice for us. How can you... These guys actually can't reach Captain Cormac. Which is fantastic. Hmm. At Lest as well would be a good place. Strondos actually would be a great place to recruit. Because... It's just right on the coast there. But I think Wintirian Yard, let's go straight for a port to get that trade going. Um, and then Elgair, we might want to build something. No, it looks like we're not going to. These guys are not going to attack our lands now, which is great for us. And then we need to, you know, look at garrisoning these places. I'm happy leaving like a Thorn Guard in Rubar. Yeah, we'll be fine. And meeting up with Edwardin with fourth win. Uh, we need someone across here. Ah, that was the wrong choice, wasn't it? Let's get you into this port. You're going to pick up Captain Vithnara next turn. You're going to take him across to Wintirian Yar. And then hopefully net the turn after that we'll be able to get this army on the boats. Send them down to here. And then we'll look at attacking Mordor. Uh, so, with that in mind, we'll recruit these troops. We'll send them with the Mordor army. I think we'll go for some more Thorn Riders in there as well. We've got the money. <laughs> End of the day, we've got the money. We're making a lot of cash now. We've got to be careful we don't overspend, though. Very easy to do. Very easy to do. So, all that Rune has left are those three settlements. So, I'm wondering whether that message was a message to let us know that you're going to come down to Khand. Uh, a message to let us know that they'll have another army, another scripted army, but I, I don't think they will. We got map information off these guys, so I'm going to come to whatever this one's called. Burzum. Burzum. Dars Burzum. Keep coming along. Just so we can see what's in the uh, the garrison over here, so we know what we need to take. The, uh, the Orc settlements are so easy to take compared to a lot of other ones. We do want to fight Dolgador as well. But Mordor is our main enemy right now. Uh, yeah, in terms of all our settlements, I think we're good. So let's, uh, let's have a look at our settlements. Make sure we've got everyone on low tax rate that we want to have low tax rate. Like Karasant. Get it on low now. And although that's going to hit our income a little bit, it'll be fine. Lest is already on low. Mistran's on low. Elgaia's on normal, but it's a castle. Rubar's on low. Naburka's on low. Wintirian Yar's a castle. Um, then over this way, Mornathel will get you on low. Although it doesn't matter because you're a uh, large city, so we'll leave you like you are. Carvrad's on low. Vilto's on low. Lots of towns in this region, really, isn't there? Which is great. Um, make more money than castles, so that's always good. Uh, you keep coming along. We've got plenty more than enough troops to garrison these settlements now. Um, I'm wondering if we send Norway down south first, maybe. Then we can come round, take this village, and then go straight up to Logarth. And straight up to uh, Burr Algar and Rawberg up here. I think that's the best option. Dolgador is, is next to us right now. So... Let's see what happens. Click that end turn. 
Oh, we, we're making such progress, aren't we? It's ridiculous. I didn't realize Darwinium was this easy. I thought it was a bit harder, but... <laughs> oh, well. I mean, it's good. It's still good. You know, we're having a good time. Um, rune ships on the Sea of Rune now. That's a bit annoying that they still have ships here because they have no land surrounding it. <laughs> we're the only people with land on the Sea of Rune. I don't want them, you know, blockading my ports. <laughs> Get off! Once we've moved our troops, we'll have a we'll have a crack at uh, attacking them. We might buy another boat, get another boat from uh, uh, Karasant. Oh, sorry, uh, yeah, Karasant. Norway gets another guy adopted, which is fantastic. You can be our watchtower boy. Uh, I'm not bothered about fighting them, so let's come down. Let's build another watchtower. And get through that way. You guys go join them. This guy can, you know, basically run around what making watchtowers. Just so it makes the land visibly a lot more pleasing rather than having all these gaps in it. I, I hate having the gaps. <laughs> it's so annoying. You can join Avalyn. So, construction-wise, yeah, we're building standing stones in these places. Standing stones in Austin Eddy. So let's have a look at Karasant and let's see whether we can start upgrading it into a bit more of a recruitment hub as well. Because it won't take long to move those guys down there. You guys get in there. You guys get off the ship. You go there and we'll move you across here. You guys get to there and that'll be fine. We'll combine you all together. Very scrappy armies. But again, we've just not really stopped, have we? We've not stopped at all. And then Strondost. Let's have a look at what we can do over this way. I think we'll go for a, for an economic building then if we've not got money for anything else. So let's go for the grain exchange in Lest. Mistrans building. Elgaia's there. Rhubar's there. Cool. Rhubar. Let's build that communal farming in Rhubar. Get a bit of extra cash. Uh, yeah, we need to focus a bit more on building. We've been recruiting so much, haven't we? These guys all take a couple of turns to recruit. How long until we can get some more of you boys? Seven turns, eight turns, and eleven turns. Probably, I would take some more Darwinian Swordmasters, although they've not been amazing. I'll tell you what, Thorn Guard, that's who we're going to recruit next turn. <laughs> Thorn Guard, what boys, what boys, what fantastic... Okay! Okay. He's not even a, a rune guy. He is a a rebel. I'm just going to auto-resolve. Obviously, it was defeat. But we've retreated quite far. Which is quite nice. Right. Let's uh, let's have a crack at Emmerhoth. Oh, they've got nothing again. <laughs> Poor rune. Ah, <laughs> uh, well... Let's uh, let's play it on the uh, the battle map. It'll probably be the last battle of the episode. So I'll see you there, guys. Here we are, and you can see it's not a really well defended city. In terms of the best place to come in, it's definitely over this side or that side. I think we'll man. Have we only got two rams? Oof, that's a little bit concerning. I thought we'd have more rams than two. Uh, but these are the two units that are going to man them. We're going to have to man them, you know, in the same places so that they don't get burnt down. You guys are, are our, you know, archer force. So you're going to be firing over the walls. And then the rest of you can all come here. And that's it. So archers, let's get you, uh, you need to get there quick. You also need to get there quick. Archers, let's get forward. Same with Avalyn. You get here and start firing at the Dragon Riders. And let's speed it up. Hopefully our ram doesn't get burnt down. That would be a major issue. Avalyn's firing over now. Good. Yes, both our rams have made it to the walls. Fire at the Lokrim bodyguard. Same as you. 
There we are. Fantastic. What we're going to do is we're going we're gonna to actually lead the way with the Thorn Guard. Because we've seen how good these guys are. Uh, the unit of 38 is probably not going to do well. A pop, you know, these guys can, can come in as well. So, send you forward. Get, uh, get that off. And we'll send you through the gates as well. Bit better firing over this way. Get running, boys. Get running. And then when you've dropped your ramp, you can get in as well. Swordmasters are going to get shredded, unfortunately. But, oh well. You should have quite a nice... Why are you firing so far over? Okay, there we are. If you come over here, you should have a nice... A nice shot. If we come forward over this way, we should be okay. Rest of the infantry and, and cavalry can come forward just slowly. Don't need you to run. You're going to get shredded, but it's it's not too much of a worry. You guys get in there straight away. Where's you? You guys get in there straight away as well. Should be able to fire here now. I'm hoping. Okay, maybe we've brought them a bit too far forward, but it's, it's okay. I don't think we're going to lose too many men. Now you guys get in that, so you can fight the Dragon Riders. And then when you do, you can come around here and fight all these crossbowmen. What are you, tribesmen? Yeah, you're not gonna, you're not gonna be a problem. It's just this uh, bodyguard that's really gonna be an issue. You guys get in there. Where are you? Yeah, I'm. Hoping you can, like, fire through that gate. <laughs> Some of you are. Not all of you, though. Um, yeah, it's going to be a bit bloody, isn't it, about this battle? All siege battles always are. So you've got there. You've killed them now. Get around this way. Come on, boys. Get going. <laughs> Leave them on walk. Just for a laugh. Yeah, get fighting. Come on, boys. They shouldn't have too much of a worry against these, these guys, but it seems like they are right now. Get you in guard mode. It's probably because they're getting shot a lot. It's starting to do a bit better now. So I'm wondering, do we need more infantry? I, I don't think we do. I don't think we do. I think we're fine. Uh, well, we could send you through here. If you get there. And get around into the square. To charge these guys in the back. And also charge these tribesmen. Same with you. If you got over there, that'd be good. Yeah, the bodyguard's dying quite a bit. It's quite good for us. Um, who else have we got over here? We've just got crossbowmen, the rangers, and the bowmen. You guys should go around there. We've also got the Darwinian infantry. So I'm wondering if we send that Darwinian infantry that way. To deal with this little corner. Because they've, uh, they've all come out now. Send the thorn blazemen around this way. Thorn Guard of Run. Oh, God. Oh, you can see how brutal siege battles can be. So brutal. You guys get up that way. Go and fight them. We just need to kill this general. But he's not dying very quickly, is he? Um, You know, these guys are not firing very effectively at all. wonder if we get him in the city. No. I think... Oh, I don't know. I'm not. I'm not bothered about the uh, the guys taking too much damage. I don't think they're going to take too much damage. Get the blazemen around this way. We'll also get you know, the cavalry here ready to charge. Avalyn's coming in as well. Uh, what if I sent you round this way, Avalyn, to charge these guys in the back? I think that'd be okay. Ah, oh, so bloody. Let's see, thirty-three percent of our, our units lost. Get through that way. Oh, go, no. Go, go, go. Go. Avalyn's stuck in the middle now. Good. He's got out. Unless that's him. 
I don't think it is. He's like all in gold, isn't he? Right. Don't go in skirmish mode. Charge them. The blade masters are fighting these boys. Then they'll fight the hunters. And then they can charge these boys in the back. Now out. Yeah, that's better. This is better. Get the charge off. Is that their general in the town square? The enemy force I think we can, you know, afford to get our cavalry in here now as well. And then charge the Lokrim bodyguard or these guys, depending on who we want to charge. You guys get there. Come on, kill him. Now get these guys. Oh. Ah, uh, the thorn the thorn guys have run away. That's fine. But I really don't want to fight these guys on the main square. So let's get out. Let's get out of the main square. Let's get you guys all in. Avalyn out. They don't have many men left. Right, you guys get here, ready to fight them. And what we need, ideally, is a crossbowman here. If they, if we engage them, that'll be fine. But what I'm thinking is, if we like get some units of crossbowmen, well, if they uh, would set up properly here, and then we engage them with the. Uh, Bladesman. And get Avalyn out once again. Really don't want Avalyn to die. <laughs> that would just be terrible, terrible, terrible news. We've lost so many men in this fight. Good job we're going to have reinforcements coming. Um, I think, honestly, we'll send a lot of these boys back for retraining. We might as well have a nice, fresh army going into Mordor. Um, you guys get out. We don't want you here. Uh, your vineyard bowmen are fine. You can actually charge them in the back if you want. And then we'll get our crossbowmen. Well, if one unit goes this side, that'd be great. You go over there. And this other unit just comes here. So they're not firing. They're not thinking that they're firing into each other. Now, fire. And you guys fire as well. That should be pretty brutal. Oh, look at that. Straight in the back. That's absolutely shredding them. They're going to kill a lot of our own men. But it's fine. We'll stop them firing now. Bladesman will get them killed. Uh, and we've killed everyone over here. Good. Good, good, good. Now we'll just wait for the Bladesman to kill uh, these last four guys. Which it might take a little while because they're such a good unit. <laughs> but there we are. General's dead. The rest of them should fall pretty quickly. Oh, what a bloody battle. We lost 45% of our men. Sieges are just so brutal, aren't they? Oh, well. Oh, God. We killed marginally more than we lost. But... <laughs> oh, some brutal, brutal scores there. Some not great ones. But anyway, we'll see you back on the campaign map, guys. Here we are. Glorious victory. Sack the settlement. And let's repair that if we can. And let's look for things to destroy again. Trading post is fine. Ballista maker is actually fine. Mining network is very nice for us. Uh, we just don't need the barracks. Uh, we'll take the merchant guild as well. So actually it's quite a nice little uh, settlement for us there. Um, yeah, Enmahath. Nice. We've taken Enmahath. Oh, Mataram's a bit unhappy. But oh well. Oh well. So, in terms of our armies and all that sort of thing, I think we need to kind of go through them. Send all these boys back for retraining, because no way is going to continue the conquest over here and really do, you know, all the damage that's needed over this side. Um, and finally destroy Rune. And then this army, if we, if we leave Athel here there, and we leave Avalyn there as well, um, 
Well, let's uh, let's combine some troops first before we need to do anything else. Uh, well, that is all that we can combine, isn't it? So I think those two will be able to, you know, handle any army that gets sent against them. So you can all go back for retraining. I don't think Lokan Marwan's gonna gonna prove much of a problem. We're gonna come through to here. We're gonna build a watchtower. And yeah, we could do with the watchtower there, but we'll get back in Emma half for the end of the turn. Yes, my lord. Well, everyone's moving that needs to move anyway, which is fantastic. Uh, Vilter's back being happy now. Good. And yeah, these guys are going to be ready next turn to move. So that'll be fantastic. Got our spy coming back. We've got you going down to Kant. Nice. Ah, oh, glorious. Glorious. What an episode, huh? What an episode. Oh, fantastic. I've, I've loved this series so far. It's been so fun. It's been really nice to get back into uh, Divide and Conquer, to be honest. Really, really nice. Such a good mod. Such a fantastic, fantastic mod. Really, really good. Oh, the ship just keeps moving around and attacking my ports. The bastards. Let's get another ship, and then we should be able to destroy their ships in the Sea of Rune, and we'll be absolutely fine. <laughs> we will have free movement, then, between all our cities. Very nice. Very nice, indeed. The sleeping dragon awakens in the hearts of men and women to, of the east. Angered and united, the tribes of Rune take up arms with a fierce fire in their eyes. Despite their recent decline, the tribes now stand tall and have amassed a great force that will put the lesser orc hordes to shame. With hearts that burn hotter than any flame arrow and golden armor that shines brighter than the Arkenstone. Those measly dwarves are so proud of. Taste our ferocity, be burned by our tenacity, for a fire spreads across the sea of Rune, and the foreboding tide will sweep across Rovanian, laying waste to our enemies once again. Right, well, didn't really expect that. I thought by this point, you know, we would have been fine. But I don't see that army anywhere just yet. I wonder where it is. <laughs> um... So if we leave Winterian Yar, get you up there. You're plenty happy into here. And yeah, ideally I want to get into a port first. So let's get into a port. Problem is if they're near Emmerhath and they come and attack, we'll lose two of our best generals. So... Oh, I'm thinking of... Ah, uh, this is tough. This is really tough. <sighs> Mataram got the Mason's Hall. Yeah, that's what we needed. Let's go for the Meeting Hall then. And then Enmahath got repaired. Good. Let's get the Standing Stones. Hmm. Well, what we can do is we can send this army down from Santanui. It's pretty nice, let's be honest. Uh, they've got another Thorn Guard coming, but they can go and, you know, Thorn Guard and Thorn Bladesman will be fine enough to deal with Dol Guldor. We don't need Elven troops per se for that army. But for the rest of you boys, you're a very nice little bit of an extra extra force. You can head down to Enmahath. When they're like one turn away, then we'll send these boys up for retraining. Although we could, you know... Could be back in time. We could be back pretty quickly from Santanui if we wanted to be. But I just don't know where that army is, so I'm a bit scared. It's not near Mistrand, as you can see. I'm a bit scared as to where it spawned. It could have spawned over here near Norway. Which, again, would be a little bit scary. Where's the border? I've got a watchtower right on the border. And uh, let's go after Varfest. Yeah, I don't know where that army is. But wherever it is, it's in a scary place. <laughs> it's coming for us. So you got there. Uh, you can come down here to build your watchtower down here. And you can keep moving around, building watchtowers everywhere. Well, there's another army there. There's armies everywhere. The Lokkan over there. You're coming down. 
Let's uh, train a ship if we can. A long ship. Nice. Got anyone we can recruit in Strondos? Yeah, let's recruit another couple of units in Strondos, Strondos then. So we're going to have quite a lot of uh, armies now. That's fine though. Rubar's got a Thorn Guard. Ideally, we want, you know, one of you boys rather than a Thorn Guard. But we can uh, swap that around when those uh, those runic troops move. But anyway, guys, I think we're going to end it there. I've just waffled on for way too long at the end of the episode. But thank you very much for watching. It's been a pleasure, as always. Please do like and subscribe. It really does help the channel out. And I will see you all again on the next video.